we're going to spend a few minutes focusing on the relationship between logical and tautological consequence. So uh, what we want to think about is not how we assess uh, an individual sentence, not how we assess um, whether or not two or more sentences are equivalent to each other, although uh, equivalence is going to bear on uh, consequence. But uh, more specifically, we want to focus on uh, what we mean when we say that one sentence is a logical consequence of another or others. In other words, what we mean when we say that an argument is valid. So we know that one sentence is a logical consequence of another or others when it is impossible for that sentence to be false while the other or others are true. In other words, we've seen that the phrase logical consequence is uh, synonymous with the term valid. So uh, an argument is valid when it's impossible for the conclusion to be false if the premises are true. And we've seen that a sentence is a logical consequence of another or others when that sentence can't be false if those other sentences are true. We've also seen, uh, given the version of the system within which we're working, that there are various ways in which an argument can be valid. So you can think about, uh, for example, what we've seen in Tarski's world, right? Uh, if A is smaller than B and B is smaller than C, it follows that A is smaller than C. We've also seen uh, within Tarski's world, certainly, but also in general, that when we assert an identity between two objects, we're saying that uh, they are one and the same, such that we can substitute one for the other. So, uh, for example, using the blocks language, since A and B are identical and A is a cube, it follows that B is a cube. And then more recently, we've seen a consequence in terms of what a truth table reveals. In other words, we know that a sentence is a consequence of another or others when there's no row of the truth table in the column under the main connective that the uh, conclusion sentence is false while the premise sentences are true. So we can say that each argument is valid, each, conclus each conclusion sorry, is a logical consequence of its premises, uh, but the mechanism whereby that validity is determined um, is different. For specifically a truth table determination and other types of determination. Think about, for example, the types of assessment that we've looked at. So we've seen that there are necessarily true sentences in Tarski's world that are not necessarily true in on a truth table, right? That doesn't mean that the sentences are somehow uh, not still necessarily true uh, when they fail to be tautologies. It's more that the truth table does not function as uh, a detection device for the sort of necessity that, let's say, a Tarski's world necessary sentence uh, fulfills the condition of necessity. The same also goes for, let's say, the identity symbol when we're talking about a first order necessity. Similarly, and this is closer to what we're talking about when we're talking about uh, a a consequence um, relationship when two sentences have uh, identical truth values that is uh, they are always true uh, at the same time or they are always false at the same time in all the same ways we say that those are equivalent sentences that means that one can be substituted for the other which is to say that one is a consequence of the other you can 
substitute out one for the other. You can infer one from the other and vice versa. But um, you won't get uh, equivalence on a truth table for a sentence, let's say, or sorry, a pair of sentences, let's say, that are equivalent in Tarski's world. And again, that's because the truth table is a different sort of detection device uh, than would be required for, let's say, a Tarski's world uh, set of equivalent sentences. Right, so um, what we're saying is that uh, the tautologically uh, consequent sentence, that is the sentence that is um, uh, truth table valid or a sentence that is uh, a logical consequence based on the truth table is a very specific type of validity. We're, what we want to say is that um, just because the tautological consequence uh, uh, concept does not apply to every type of valid argument, that doesn't mean that those arguments aren't valid or that somehow uh, the truth table is um, not a good way to test for validity. It just means that we've got uh, to think in more subtle ways about what we're saying when we say that an argument is valid. In other words, the distinction uh, that we've made does not devalue or otherwise undermine an argument's validity. Instead, the distinction provides us with a sharper conceptual focus. We better understand what makes an argument valid when we understand the mechanism whereby that validity is determined. Right? Are we talking about a uh, conceptual relationship? Are we talking about a relationship uh, arrangement that uh, forces the conclusion? Or are we talking about a, an inference that is uh, uh, determined by the connectives that govern the sentence? So we can say that um, it would be erroneous to use a truth table to determine the validity of an argument that is, let's say, uh, governed by the identity symbol, right? Um, think about it this way. You wouldn't use a blood sugar test to determine whether or not someone has broken a bone any more than you would use an x-ray uh, to determine whether or not someone's blood sugar levels are out of whack, right? So the truth table uh, provides us with a specific sort of test. Um, its mechanism is sensitive to uh, the truth functionality of a given sentence. So I hope then that uh, looking at sentences, or sorry, I hope that looking at arguments um, to see what's driving the elements in an argument will help us recognize that an argument can be valid uh, without its achieving uh, the status of tautological consequence. At the same time, recognize that any argument uh, that is valid in a truth table or on a truth table is going to be valid in terms of the most general uh, application of that concept. So take a moment to look at each of these three examples and then as you're thinking about uh, uh, tautological consequence in, for example, the language proof and logic exercise, relevant exercises in chapter four, uh, you should have a sharper idea of what it is that uh, we're doing when we distinguish tautological consequence from logical consequence. In other words, we're saying that all arguments that satisfy the demand of the truth table for tautological consequence will also uh, satisfy the demand in uh, broader terms as a valid argument or as an argument whose uh, conclusion is a, uh, a logical consequence of the premises, but that the converse does not hold uh, simply because there are some arguments that uh, do not have the requisite uh, truth functionality for a truth table to test.
I hope this focus on tautological consequence and logical consequence has been helpful to you in deepening and sharpening your understanding of what it is to say that an argument is valid.